Hey everybody, my name is Link Luigi here, and welcome back to more Pikmin 3. Last time, we went to the tropical wilds to deal with the sand belching mirror slug. This time, after grabbing the communications device, we're heading to the Twilight River. In which, early on in the day, I'm gonna try a glitch. Thanks to the technology we found, we've been able to expand the Drake's scanning range even more. So another signal. Hmm. We thought the last signal was coming from Olimar. We have to follow it. It's our only clue to his location. And that, and that of our cosmic drive cube. I feel like we're on a wild goose chase, or worse. What if this Olimar isn't what he seems? Don't worry, Brittany. If anything happens, you have both Alpha and I to here to protect you. Why doesn't that comfort me? All right then, let's get going. The hunt for Olimar continues. So yeah. Let's just go to the Twilight River. Also, we're finally given exact tells on how many pieces of fruit are in each area. Tropical Wilds has the most, then the Garden of Hope, then the Distant Tundra, and then the final area has the least. This is going to be a simple area to get 100% in. I hope. Also, holy crap, my Discord's blowing up. Gotta love dual monitor setup. This place is beautiful. Captain, the signal we followed is here is definitely coming from somewhere nearby. But is it, but is it Olimar? You know, I have a good feeling about this. A captain can always sniff out when another captain is nearby. That's sort of gross. Well, whatever helps us find our cosmic drive key, if nothing else. We can find more fruit here. So, yeah, there's a glitch we can do early on in this day to get over here. Okay, cool. We're just going to borrow Charlie for a minute. Oh my gosh, look at, look, look at that onion. It's trapped in that web. Poor thing. Let's help get it free. But yeah, so there's actually a glitch in the older version of, or in the Wii version of Pikmin 3 that kind of had to do with wonky collision. I'm gonna try it for at least a few tries. If they fixed it, bugger. It helps us get this new Pikmin type a lot quicker. Well, we tried. That or I just wasn't in the right spot. Also, if you want to know, that enemy that we saw pop up, that was an iridescent foot beetle. So, we want at least 25 rocks. I'd actually say only 40 reds and... yeah, 35 yellows. I know, I'm not going all out on the reds. Oh my god, what am I? This dirt mound is... don't worry about it. Also, bulborbs, I can crush things again. I don't want you to take the things back there for our new breed of Pikmin. Lily pad rides! I would love to be able to ride on a lily pad. This is beautiful. But, yeah. We are going to be splitting up the team. Mostly due to. We have a big enemy here! Yeah, rocks deal with this thing stupidly quick, and yeah, it's a puffy blowhog. It gives a good amount of pellets. So, I'm actually going to disband and send... Sure, Alf, you take the reds. Brittany. Actually, yeah, Brittany is going to... Oh, I don't want seven yellows. 
Ugh. What Brittany wants to do is send the rocks to fight a Wally Wog. And Brittany... Oh. Alright, Brittany, you go there. Charlie, you're coming with me. Oh wait, first things first. Alf gets to deal with an enemy that's a bit of a pain in the butt. This is the Blighty Jazz Mate! Yeah. Uh. Rox, no! Where's a straggler? Yeah, just charge. Kind of one reason I want Alf here. Ah. Because, yeah, Charlie's gonna go into this cave. Be warned. Uh, these enemies are jerkish. This is a 20 watt. This is a 20 yellow thing. Basically, it lights up the area. And the reason I want to be careful those are water dimples. What I would consider. The worst enemy in Pikmin 3. But yeah, so Alf... Alf is actually going to be the one who has the job of taking care of these bridge shards. While Brittany, on the other hand... Oh, that's right. Brittany... I'm gonna get help from Alf, but... Also... Enjoy, and... I'm gonna check on Charlie. Yeah, we're gonna try and catch the yellows on their way back. I do not want any yellows coming back in here unsupervised. Yeah, there is the issue here of we have a Wallywog. I don't have my rocks. But yeah, so we only have fifteen yellows. I'm actually trying to remember. Do we have five more yellows? Oh! Bridge is done. Copad, using you. their leaves. I'm just gonna take the entire crew now. Because I said so. Brittany, you're dealing with berries. But yeah, let's go... Meet our new Pikmin Brick. Be warned, there's a very jerkish enemy placement. Oh, yeah. Trust me, if I can get that blown to hell, that'll be better. Remember those skitterlies I don't like? Getting rid of those now. And also, there we go. 
And time to meet the best thing in Pikmin history. Here's a fluttery onion. Oi, rocks. But yeah, so... Where's the sh... Oh, it put a yellow away because we needed a Pikmin. Um, Charlie, you go there. Alf, you go to base. Basically, Brittany's gonna be on duty for berries. Wait, why am I using the go here command? Basically, the reason I haven't been taking supplies. I'm only keeping 30 Pikmin on the field. But... Is is pink. It's pretty. Hello, you beautiful bastard. The onion freed from that web spawned a new type of Pikmin, one with little wings. With those wings and sunglasses, this guy does qu quite an impression of a pilot. But yeah, meat winged Pikmin. I love it. I I genuinely love winged Pikmin. They are my favorite type of Pikmin. For a good reason. I'm gonna spend this first day trying to pluck very few of them. Because, seriously, winged Pikmin are so helpful. In fact, they have a little bit of a glitch. Normally a wings winged Pikmin cannot one-shot pallet posies. But yeah, there's a little glitch where if you toss it under the flower, like this, it one-shots the pellet. Screw it, just fully charge. Murder, murder the five pellet. But yeah, wings are, they're amazing. They, they don't take crap from other types. But, that's the good part. I believe there's one of these. So, basically... Let's just swarm the wings on the female shear grubs. Why, it makes it go faster. And plus, it helps me breed more pink little babies. And I want more winged Pikmin. That is actually a fruit, but... Please be a one pellet like I believe you are. Yes! Yeah, we don't need more than 15 wings. Yeah, and then... This, I believe, is a nectar egg. Yes, that, that is helpful for the amount of wings you are going to want on this first day. But for now, I'm going to go quickly grab a few things. Mostly the dwarf bull boards and the wallywog. Why? Winged Pikmin are amazing. I might want to whistle my the rest of mine. What's good about wings? They they could give two shits about gravity. But yeah, we are gonna try and hurry. I just want to get some of the bigger enemies. 
We have three potions, which is actually very good. Let's hop off. And I mean, I guess we can just whistle with the reds. So we're just gonna grab a few of the enemies. Mostly. And then this little guy. However. But, yeah, winged Pikmin are beautiful, mostly. We have most of that blown up now. We're gonna grab Elf, and sure, toss another wing or two. Yep, yeah, they... They don't care about logic. Yeah, this is gonna be... I want to chance this. If they get the fruit above ground, I do not care. We have a massive army. They got the fruit above ground. I'm not plucking them. I refuse. We will do that tomorrow. I want winged flowers. I'm sorry, I wanted to see them. Oh, that's right, they don't go with the rest of the group because their onions halfway across the freaking wing area. We're on day seven and we have winged Pikmin. I love it. What are the enemies here? Like orange ball bore, but those things are jerks. And we get to see another onion merge. Which I love the pink on this onion. One onion absorbed the other. It's fascinating how it just keeps evolving. And growing. No fruit collected today. Sigh. Knowing this is waiting at the end of the day makes it all worth it. If only I didn't have to share with the others. But yeah. Good, we still have plenty of juice left. Trust me, we're gonna have more tomorrow. Tomorrow is gonna be very much so a fruit gathering day. We have 59 winged Pikmin. That is beautiful and I love it. After bridging the river, we secured another onion from a predator. This onion then sprouted a winged Pikmin. These Pikmin can travel, can fly and traverse bodies of water. More care careful observation is needed to determine any other characteristics they possess. But yeah, next time on Pikmin 3, we're going to be playing with the winged Pikmin more and seeing what they can do to help us find Olimar. Until then, see you guys next time.